We're back again with something like slight like here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Uh, today is 10 things I hate growing up as a 90s baby. Uh, number one, walking around with antenna. If you're a 90s baby, you know what I mean? You used to have that small block of a TV. And you'd have to be walking around the internet and it's always when you're behind the TV that the, the TV will start playing, especially high five in the air, let's do it together. We'll start playing. Then the minute you come out and try to move around to see the TV, we'll start going nazi again. Oh my god. So uh number two. Rollerball mites, oh my gosh. Rollerball mites. You see when you get the tiniest bit of dust on that rollerball and you'll be dragging the mask, it's not moving. You have to take, unscrew the whole mask, clean it out, clean it out, dust it, uh, clean the ball with uh, alcoholic uh, isopropyl alcohol. In order for it to work properly, and we'll use it, and then in another week or so, it starts doing its own thing. You'll be dragging it to the left, it'll be going to the right. You'll be dragging it to the right, you'll be going to the left. Number three, the A to Z. Even though I didn't drive, but the most frustrating thing yet, your, your parents are driving. And they're asking you to check where this red is on the A to Z and you're pretty sure that you've, you're have you completely lost but you're trying to make you see like you're not lost talking about yeah we're gonna take a left in 300 yards oh yeah it's just after the motorway and then somehow you end up down a one-way street on the road going down towards a farm and you have to start asking random people on the side of the road or do you know this place is and everyone, no one seems to know where it is. That agenda is going to take two hours, you spend four or five hours trying to get there. And then the minute, and then those times, the roads that have no streets lights were even worse. They're there trying to look for the name of the, the road, you can't see it because it's so dark. Number four would be the internet on a flip phone or a brick phone and that's it but more specifically flip phones flip phones are the first ones where you could download music you know you really use the internet but the data on that flip phone finish so quick and the website will load so slow i remember i had a samsung it was a samsung flip phone i forgot which one it was but yeah, I used to have a Samsung flip phone. I was in like year six at the time. I downloaded one Michael Jackson album. It was even bad. Just one song. They are finished. I'm there like how? And then on top of that, I realized I paid 79p for the trial of the song that was 30 seconds. So on top of getting finessed, not only did I get finessed, but now my day is finished. And then you're there trying to load YouTube. YouTube was doing its own thing, saying that uh, their browser doesn't support it. And then you'll play the video. Uh, if you go through a certain route, but if you go through it, then the minute you try to reload the, the next video, it will say your browser is not supported. Okay. Number five, manual car windows. You know the one where you have to? Down. Ah, oh, the day that window breaks on you, you you just wish you embraced the heat because huh, that's the day when you realize that that aunt and un or uncle or that, that cousin can insult somebody. 
the insult that you will collect on that day, yeah. Oh! The look that they will look at you on that day when that window gets jammed or it just suddenly falls and now it's stuck in the door. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's lucky some of us even survived. Especially the worst going here is when you have the aunt and uncle that told you don't use the window on that side, use the window on this side and then you've forgotten yourself. Now wandering down the window and it's now stuck. And now they're telling your parents that they, they're gonna have to fix that window because you, they told you before you go in the car. But yeah, they man your windows there. They were never really it. And so much energy to wind down the window and then even to wind it up. Oh. Uh, number six, Mr. Bobby. Someone really needs to explain the purpose of Mr. Bobby. I've never really understood the purpose of Mr. Bobby. Mr. Bobby used to jar me. He just used to be an interruption to everything. They'll be doing something sensible on TV. Mr. Blobby will come out of nowhere and just mess up the whole thing, run the whole thing down. I don't know if it's running man down uh, from early. But he does use to just come on, mash up the whole thing. Uh, number seven, which kind of ties into number four, which is the internet and the flip fan. But this is also internet in general, is downloading music. You see, LimeWire, uh, Doom Radar, uh, all of them funny websites, yeah, where you'll be downloading music, yeah, and then your computer will get virus. And now you are looking at the computer and they're looking at the pension text, when your computer has a virus. Or well, every time you open Internet Explorer, word is opening. Or well, every time you open MSN, <laughs> the computer is shutting down. And then the worst one is not even that one. Let's forget about virus. At least you, with most of the time when you get the virus, you got what you wanted and then you got the virus as an extra. The worst one, yeah, you download a song. You think, yeah, I've got this song, got this song. You now go to play. It's not the song at all. You get some classical music and you're thinking, what, what is going on? What is going on? Especially them days when you used to be listening to music on channel the days of You Got Served. You'd be listening to B2K, you'd be listening to your jar roll and you think, oh, I want that song, I want that song. You now go to download it. Please tell me why I'm listening to Beethoven. Um, number eight, dial up internet. You see that dial up internet, yeah. I feel like that's what gave 90s kids patience because you'll be listening to you'll be listening to it. the minute you get to a certain extent and then just cut out and you have to go and restart the whole computer all over again all over again oh. number nine when you used to watch you and my friend and they said don't try this at home that was the worst piece of advice because I, I knew I was going to try at home and almost remortgage myself. I was almost going to cancel myself, write myself off like a car that's been in an accident. I was going to try it. If they said don't try it, I was going to try it for sure. With those backflips of the chair, I tried it almost, you know, hey. <laughs> Almost ripped myself off. <laughs> um, number ten is CDs and discs. Is um yeah CDs and discs. That's another thing that I used to hate as a nineties kid, because once that thing gets scratched on track one, if you think, eh, 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 
it's good to the next track. You think, oh, next track is track two is bad. Halfway through track two, it starts to, eh, mm, 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 mm. And I don't know why last night is kid for putting water on the disc or so anything. If anything, it just, the disc was just finished after that. And then you then wipe it with your t-shirt. Oh! We finished, we finished so many this. But I'm lucky, I'm so happy that Walkman eventually came along. Sony Ericsson with their Walkman. And I think that I'll bring this video to a close. Because if you, when I talk about Walkman, that will link into 10 things that I used to love as a 90s kid. And you'll see the link to that video here. So yeah, click it, enjoy it. I'll find out 10 things that I enjoyed as a 90s baby growing up. Thank you.